Windows has a quota management system built into its NTFS file system. Now, quota management only works on NTFS, and its purpose is to track and then limit the amount of space that a user can use on any given volume. The idea being, if we have multiple people sharing one system, we don't want one person to use up all of the available space. And so you'll see this used frequently on servers, but it can also be used on a Windows 10 system. Let me show you how. So I'm going to open up File Explorer. Now, one thing to be aware of, let me go to this PC and the C drive. Now, one thing to be aware of is if you enable quota management on the local hard, the operating system drive, it can get a little bit tricky because quotas are tracked by whoever owns the file and whoever sets up the operating system is going to own a lot of these files so you can run into problems if you start limiting space on the c drive so microsoft's recommendation is to store your data files on another drive or another partition and enable quota management there now there are some strengths to that and there are some weaknesses to that but that is an approach that you can take since I only have one volume on this at the moment, let's go ahead and work with that one. So I'm going to right click on the drive that, or the volume that I want to set quotas on and I'm going to go to properties. And then I'm going to go to quota. And on the quota tab here, I can access the uh, show quota settings. Now by default, quotas are disabled. And you'll see the little indicator here. Uh, the stoplight says, hey, that's not working. Well, it's not enabled, that's why. So if we want to use it, we're going to click Enable Quota Management. Now, you can set up quota management to track usage or to actually limit usage. So I'm going to set it up to limit usage, but in the process I'm going to show you how you can track it. So if you just kind of leave it this way, um, enable quota management, but don't deny disk space, don't limit disk, use, disk usage. Then when you get to the quota settings, the individual quota entries, it will tell you how much people are using, but it won't restrict them. But if you do want to restrict it, that's where we get to. Let's start down here at the limit disk space usage. So I'm going to limit disk space usage to one gigabyte. And then I'm going to set my warning level to 900 megabytes. And so what this means is when a user gets to 900 megabytes, they're going to get a warning saying, hey, you're using, or you're getting close to your quota limit. Once they get up to a gigabyte of storage, if they try to save anything more, they will have hit that limit. Now where the teeth really comes into this is with this option right here, deny disk space to users that exceed the quota limit. So when a user tries to write a file that would go over one gigabyte or whatever we've set their limit disk space usage to, it will generate an error and they can't write the file. So it's a hard enforcement of these quotas. Now, the user is going to see these, but if they're like most users, users don't really pay any attention to messages that pop up. They're just going to click past them and keep going, or they might read it and forget about it or whatever. Well, we can log events. So this one is when a user exceeds their quota limit. This is when a user hits their warning level. Those will show up in the event log so that we can then go back in the event log and see where it's at as well. Now, let's go ahead and apply the quota. And it says you should only do this if you did it, blah, blah, blah. Yep, we're OK. And so it's going to start rebuilding the disk quota information. And that'll take a few minutes. And it depends on how much data you have as to uh, how long this is going to take. And then we can go to quota entries. Now, we're not going to see anything here yet. But what's going to happen is here we're going to see entries for each user showing their logon name, how much they've used, what their quota limit is, what their warning level is, what percentage they're at. And then we'll be able to select on a user and go to the quota properties. Let's actually create a new quota entry here or go through the process. It's actually going to generate an error for us, but that's okay. So here we can see the individual limits, and this is what we set out at the previous screen, right? So by default, every user is going to have those quota limits. We can adjust them. 
So I can say, all right, one gigabyte, 900 megabytes is good for most people, but for this person, we're going to give them more or less or not limit them. Now, in this case, because it's not finished rebuilding information, it's saying it users unknown. So that's fine. We're going to ignore that. This information, by the way, is supposed to update about every hour or so. So I'm going to go ahead and go back here. All right, disk quota system is active. So I'm going to hit OK. It still hasn't updated. Uh, I let it run for a little while, and I wasn't going to take a long time, but I let it run for a little while, and it didn't update for me. You'd have to let it run longer for it to actually populate that. But I do want to show you something else here. I'm going to hit OK, and you see here I'm using 19, or I've got 19.1 gig free of 49 gigabytes available. I'm going to refresh this because I just implemented quotas. And even though I'm not seeing the quota entries yet, once I refresh that, look at what I have here. I have 630 megabytes free of one gigabyte available. That's that hard limit that we set, right? So that sets that hard limit. Now that's all that I can use. And so even though it hasn't shown the quota entries to me yet, I can still see that my quota is working. Now I'm going to go back into my properties here because I don't want to leave that on on my C drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to den uncheck deny disk space usage and I'm going to set do not limit disk space usage and I'm going to turn both of these off. But I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. I'm going to go ahead and leave quota management enabled. So eventually my quota entries here should populate and should tell me what everybody's using. So I can still kind of keep track of who's using what by enabling quota management, but not limiting. So this doesn't limit users, it just kind of reports to me. So now when I go back out, if I refresh, notice I'm back up to that 49 gigabytes. So that's how the quota system works in Windows. Now, like I said at the beginning, we use this a lot on servers to limit what people can store on servers and to keep people from uploading music libraries and video libraries and things like that. But it is something that we can use on Windows systems as well, and you do it the same way. Uh, there are some additional tools in servers that give you more capabilities, but the basic quota system works pretty similar. So that's how you'll manage disk quotas or use disk quotas to control disk space usage on a Windows 10 system.